Yo, what is up guys? I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pair iOS 12 devices with an Xbox One, PS4, or Nintendo Switch controller. Let's get right into it. So guys, this is a very simple setup to do. The only two things you're going to need for this is a jailbroken iPhone and some kind of controller. So guys, to get into it, let's go ahead and go into settings and make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. Once Bluetooth is on, go ahead and exit out of it and go into Cydia. So guys, we are now into Cydia. Let's go ahead and go to Sources, click Edit, and then Add, and type in cydia.chemo.org. So guys, that is the URL we're going to add. Go ahead and click Add Source. It'll download the packages. And once it's done, go ahead and click Return to Cydia. Click Search, and type in N Control. Now you want this bottom one that has the question mark. Click that one, click modify, and click install. Click confirm, and it'll go ahead and download. Now guys, once it is done downloading, go ahead and click return to Cydia, then click the home button, and go into end control. So guys, this part right here is why you needed to have your Bluetooth on. Um, if you don't have your Bluetooth on, you'll need to double click the home button, exit out of it, Go into settings and obviously turn on your Bluetooth because it won't work if you just do it. If you just turn it on when it's in end control, you have to turn it on before you go into end control. So once you guys are in end control, this is the part where we turn on the controller and get it set up to pair. It might say miscellaneous or it'll say your controller. Here, I'll show you what that looks like. Now it shows Xbox wireless controller. Let's go ahead and click it. Click this button up here, and click cl uh, Connect Device. You'll be able to tell that it connected by, if you click this, it'll say Unpair. It won't have like a actual connecting logo, so it can be confusing, but just check up here and see if it says it's connected, and that's how you'll know if it's connected. And if you want to unpair it, you can just click this Unpair button right here. If you want to disconnect it, disconnect right there. Go ahead and exit out of the app, and now for the play test. I'm going to be testing it out with Minecraft because you can easily change the controls and I want to be able to show you guys how you can do that. So guys, we are now into Minecraft. Let's go ahead and click, uh, click play. And so we are now into the world. You guys can see that I am controlling it with the controller. Can't see it very well because it's kind of far away from me, but uh, yeah, it is working perfectly with the controller. You can place blocks and stuff, uh, break blocks. Um, now to exit out of the game, if you have it on this preset controller, it might go to the start menu. To fix that, all you have to do click here and go to the start menu and you can click save and quit and then now I will show you how to change the controls. So guys how to do this will vary from game to game but I'm showing it to you in Minecraft just because it has a very controller friendly setup. So you go ahead down here into the controller setting and you can change basically all the layouts here. So if you wanted to make uh, inventory be X You'd swap that with crafting, you can make that Y, you just swap those two. Basically, it's that easy to change the controls. And so guys, that is how easy it is to hook up a controller to your iPhone on an iOS 12 and under device. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if this video helped you out, because it would help me out a ton. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.